So the palace, as you saw, is most important when it comes to increasing our trade post limit. Our sons do count toward it. And our trade practices very much take it down. But we are more than halfway there to help us upgrade out of the trade post limit from the terrible trade practices. Oh good. So this is something that you get in business, the option to mint coins for both glory and greed. But if you discovered, well, things might turn out bad. Uh, we will go ahead and mint them for ourselves. So we get the gold and the prestige just as much. Do I want legalism? No. I will go with popular customs. And also with majesty. Because this gives us more prestige gain. And that is quite important. The noble customs gives us more vassal, uh, city vassal opinion, which is good because... The more our city vassals like us, the more taxes they pay, but you can see there isn't even all that much in taxation to be had even if they liked us. The smaller houses, or rather the houses that we have decimated are not even in a great position to try and pay us. A rumor about a spy sneaking around, red-handed. Okay, we could become ruthless for a year, or we could become strong giving us more prestige and less piety. Ah, let's just behead him. Okay. And we can build another trade post. So let's check this zone again, right? Um, this, you, you can kind of tell which county potentially adds to a zone uh, if you just look at where the port goes into. These are the trade posts that are built, and these are the ports uh, where a trade post could be built. So there are several more there are let's go full count one two three four five six seven eight so we would need quite a few here <laughs> the only thing you need to own a trade zone is to have more than anyone else has a trade post in the same trade zone that that's all you'd really need to own it um, so having three already kind of puts a dampener on others. We could also just go ahead and open up another trade zone, a new one. And just vie for control like that. This one is a bit more expensive than this one here. I don't exactly know. It's, it's distance somewhat, but also it looks like... You know, um, the prosperity of it and some other factors that go into the price. Distance penalty. And the king doesn't like us too much. But it's fine. If we check the trade posts here. You can see they don't earn all that much money. I don't actually know where the difference is between this and this information. Why is this different from this? I do not know. But we can build another trade post here. Yes, birth of the assassins. We don't care. Let's check out the trade zones. And we own two. so far and we're building our way out to spread our trade dominance further into the world we have to be a little bit careful because the trade post limit does hinge heavily on how many men we have at court and all our kids are now grown they might give us more heirs, more children, but for now what we have is what we see, or what we got is what we have, or something like that. And we are outbid. Oh, we were outbid for a second. That's 
Oh, that, that was way too much. Okay. You're trying to kill this man? Yes, let's try harder. I don't wish to think of war. Because, well... Might go wrong. You want one of my granddaughters, maybe? One of your sons there. Okay, so we have lost a whole bunch of prestige because we were found out to have uh, faked those coins there. I'd like you to stop this plotting. This son. No, you stay. I need you guys for trade posts. What is he doing? We don't know. Is he at court? Yes. But he's a bastard, so I don't think he counts. Always with the ships going places. Wow, he's kind of alone. So building a trade post here would be pretty good because we could easily seize the city. Peasants speak of an artifact. Yes, okay. Let's send the marshal. I think maybe once I got an artifact out of searching through a counselor. I don't like to do it. The drawbacks are generally worse than what you can get out of it. Oh no, our alliance broke down. That is not great. Um. I would love to go matrilineally, but I'm not allowed to do that. Not allowed to do it. Okay, another trade post was built for us. And of course you might think, well, upgrade them. That's really sensible. And I would like to agree, but this is better. Because these you also never really lose. The, the, I almost sent temple. The palace stays in your family. Oh yes, let's organize an expedition. Expeditions cost gold up front. Um, but they will very much give you gold back at the price of some reputation or some opinion modifiers here and there. Okay, we can take out some gold again. Foreign lands, because he is way ahead. No one here is going to catch up. Uh, declaration, ruler of war, declaration, sovereignty. Yeah, no thanks. I want you to be able to do that. Not that he, that we have cared so far, but uh, yeah, no. Maybe I care in a little while. I like my options. <laughs> okay, fine. I was one of the few who likes their options. Yes, let's give him a dozen strongholds. With these, always choose the strongest, the most expensive option. And it will go well. We will make excuses for our people because they are rude and can't behave themselves, and we will step in and make our people angry. We want to appease our host. And there we become close friends with the Sultan. And, oh, would you look at that? We become Midas touched. We were only a fortune builder so far, and now we are Midas touched. See, you never really end with your learning. And now we get 500 gold, 150 prestige, and more importantly, the capital gets trade route for braces of 30 years. Plus 30% city tax. And we have two of those on our little island there. So this is amazing. The trade route is absolutely worth it. Stop trying to go away. Okay, uh, we could, you know, 
pay him, but he wants 200 gold. Generally, I like to pay them for their, for a job good done, but... Uh, 200 gold, are you, are you silly? Okay, we got a decent cookbook out of our writing. So let's see. That's uh, uh, quality 2, and we get, well, 0 0.5 gold out of the book just for having it. That's not bad. Okay, let's build another trade post here. Just to lock down these zones. I'm not entirely sure what more... But what makes more sense, like, grow out here? Just keep growing? Or locking down zones? I... Um, I couldn't tell you what is more sensible in this juncture. But what I can tell you is that we have some money right now, and it is very sensible to upgrade these a bit. We need city walls too, and we are kind of locked in our technology here, but... Make sure... Castle Town is all upgraded, that's fine. We could build another city, but we're not gonna. So we are going to upgrade our trade post here, because there is where we get all the money. This is the place. This is where we earn. We have a lot of men in our family, so... <laughs> While we earn, we also pay. That's okay. Let us get some retinue going. Now is the time. I've decided... And I want some a mix of Pike and these men. Someone died. Our spy master. That's not ideal. That was one of our sons there. Let's put another son in. Our really good son, spy master, died. What happened? Patish, Patrician Henrik of Gildenhusen killed you. My dear fellow. Marshal, uh, regarding the search for the relic. Build time, plus 25%. City vassal opinion. Sure. Let's upset everyone. <laughs> Let's decrease our income for the vassal, for the relic. How much are we hemorrhaging? Ah, a gold a month. You can find modifiers like these usually around here. The peasants of Gotland? No. I don't like the peasants. Has no one noticed yet? Yeah, decree of appropriation. Uh, these sometimes they pop up just on the on the county. Sometimes they're on the on the whole realm. Imprison our wife. How about we just tell her to stop her silly stuff? Stop scheming, girl. Thank you. I appreciate ya. 23 stewardship. Ow. Which also helps a lot with the money. You sometimes kind of get a wrong idea because you feel like, oh, we're earning a lot. But in reality, you are just kind of, um, you know, <laughs> having a lot of... Stewardship, and then you have a succession, and suddenly you don't. Um, a period of festivities. Yes, we will go to your coronation. Again, a new king. <laughs> I don't care to be king. Yes, very impressive ceremony. Thank you for having us. you want height of revocation no definitely not yes yes long live the king and there you have your first revolt it looks like let's hope they don't find uh, it very suitable to come and attack us I would rather they not that so trade post is going to go up here let's let's see this is 19, 19, and this is 39, 7. And with the upgrade, it should go up to 47, and here to 20, 19. At least that's how I understand these. Which is probably wrong. So let's see what happens once this upgrade is done. 
Yeah, none of what I predicted happened. I mean, there are some per percentage modifiers on this, so it is a bit higher, but it's way out of what I thought. Not sure how this works. But does it matter? No, because they do give us money. And that is, in the end, all that really, really counts. So let's get a merchant port in. We'll upgrade this one to two fully first, and then we venture forth. It makes more sense to upgrade the other ones here for merchant port at least. So we get more money as we wait. We should probably do that. Oh, sorry, merchant enclaves is what I want. Making steady progress in the search for the artifact. Very good. Okay, our wife's pregnant and even more beautiful than before, so let us jump right on that. If you catch my drift. Bite of Hanu. Where are we at the Monarch's journey anyway? Have we done anything yet? I mean, yeah, we are increasing our number of trade posts and we're almost, almost to the first one. So that's okay. Well, that's not too shabby. And once our palace upgrade is done, we shall cross the threshold. We want more trade republics beneath us. That's what we want. Uh, he talks on respect, authority, Bible. Apparently the council is in agreement that we having neglected to do so. He offers to help us. We owe him a favor. Are you even on my council? Who the hell are you? How about you go away? Thank you. Every time I'm not entirely sure what the ramifications of something are, I'd rather go with the option that I understand better. Uh, it's not the best way to play this, but none of this is about the best way of playing this. This is about a way of playing this. And kind of staying in the rider seat. We have seen her uh, defeat some of our best champions. Has she now? Lady Helena, I could use a woman of your talents. Vassal opinion minus 20. Ah, that's fine. Bye bye. Or do you want to marry someone? Oh no, you're done. You're gone. Usually they immediately die. If you don't, like they vanish without a trace. I like that concept. So you can't cheese your way into, you know, making it better. Oh, look at that, Mr. Henrik. Who killed our son. Um, Into the oubliette you go. People won't like it. We lose 20 pies. Um, I think I would like to torture him. But he might be released. No, he is released. Prison. I'd rather not have him released. He's going to be in the oubliette until he dies. And we have another daughter. Good. Irish? No. Can do better. Let's get... Get yeah, this guy. This I am Marshal. No. Let's get... Someone over here. What are we? Oh no. Our wife is returning to normal. Our girl is no longer sickly. Would you not like my girl? No. Fine then. Oh, 
1,000. Ah, oh, he has too much prestige. What are you doing? 4,000 troops. Ow. That's a lot of vassals. Oh, he's pretty large. I didn't even notice that Ruthenia also belongs to him. Oh, now people know what we did. No, no. She is possessed and has the gout. Shall be imprisoned, my dear lover. Just for all our safety, really. We have taken care of this fool. I don't care about the rest here. Not right now, anyway. So let's see what trade posts could use upgrading. Wait, this one I, I upgraded the wrong one. That's why it's not performing to expectation. See, the... He will soon be able to pre present me the ancient relic. Uh, see, this one, the trade value, increases basically the income of all connected trade pools. Uh, but only slightly, so... Yeah. could teach me more about history and subjects. I feel I have no... Teach me! You're no, not very pious in that request. And we gain one learning because he taught us... Okay. Saying no to that. So we're reaching the age of 50. Do we have friends still? Oh yeah. Not minor friends either. Fun. We could switch around a little bit, but I think, I think, yeah, I think staying in business will be fine until we come a little bit older. If you think I'm going to support factors conspiring, you will swear not to. Oh, thank you. I would like to stay out of factions and not upset you. That's fine. So this guy is raiding this guy. Is this, you are an empire? No, you're a kingdom. These just look way more impressive when they are tribal. <clears throat> I don't like that you have so much gold and prestige. Because you can probably make issues for me. else could we go against Denmark if 2,000 troops and that's basically all you have because you're also at war right now okay we are in a non-aggression pact here Norway how strong are you 3,000 you're not bad So a lot of what we're doing here is just sitting around and waiting for opportunities, <laughs> to be quite honest. Why is this? I don't understand the difference here. Total income is 6.6. .6. Total income is 6.6. .6. What is this number here? Final income. What? Oh, I think I get it. He has returned well-preserved arm and proof that it belonged to a saint. Could give him gold, but he's our son. Arm of a saint is added to our treasury. 
Okay, I think I understand it now. So, the final income is at the bottom there. Um, which is 14, which is the number that is shown here. So that is what we actually get. But this is basically the trade income that we get. Uh, is it? No. It isn't. Okay. Basically, it's the top two pieces, excluding the bottom. So if you throw away the stewardship skill and the greedy one, this is what you would get. Now I have it. Now I understand. All right, there we go. That took me longer than it should have. Uh, I'll help you. That took me longer than it should have. Let's take out more campaign funds because he doesn't need them. Yeah, he just forgot things. So what does the arm anyway do for us? Nothing much. See, I told you, I don't like looking for artifacts to counsel it. It never really turns out too well. Uh, let us search for a smith and get ourselves some jewels. That will be a good investment, trust me. Trust you me. I know, speak of what I do. Should we have another retinue here? Maybe some archers. We have a bit of a... I'd rather go for more pike. Yes. Invite the famous goldsmith. Order a beautiful set of crown jewels. This is going to cost us some money, so I'm reluctant to spend more, but we'll get us our pike boys, and there we can mint more coins. Almost said gloins, but we can mint some gloins as well. Okay, yeah, I don't I don't care what you're doing here. If you want to bang my niece, enjoy. Just make good stuff. Including while banging our knees, please. Don't 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 just bang her. Actually, you know, satisfy her. Be a considerate lover. Very good. So crown of lilies, noble scepter and engraved sword are added to our treasury. All of which are apparently below the quality of Yeah, they're all quality one. Ah, uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing, it's something, but yeah, this is not going to help with the ambition. <laughs> Annoyingly so. All right, our palace is shaping up to be something to be marveled at. I don't actually know what is the highest we can go. Is it four? It might be four. We'll upgrade the secret passage first, giving us more intrigue and more tax. But here, I mean, tax plus 10, levy size plus 40%. Th those are crazy numbers, especially once we start upgrading these here. Those are crazy numbers. So what am I waiting at? Let's upgrade some more trade posts here before... Everyone gets a merchant enclave first. That's what we're here for. Well, at least when we can afford it. Another daughter born to our son and heir. I am not too happy that there are no males being born down here. Oh, there's one. Our grandson. Let's put him into special focus and assign ourselves as his guardian. Nope, he doesn't want that. Yeah, so I doubt I will be able to have him at court. We don't need him anymore as a special interest. Don't need him as a special interest either. Him neither. 
Can you marry something, please? Anything. Anything that doesn't cost us something. There are no options. Dynastic daughter. That's not good. Ah, oh, which you... I like it when they just present themselves on a silver platter like that. They can run, and then someone else takes over, but, you know. We already start at 110%. Well, someone is unlucky. And we have more gold again to upgrade. With a merchant enclave. Pushing our incomes to the limit. Are there any ones without the merchant enclave yet? Still left, yes. But only this one apparently. All the others have at least one merchant enclave going. This guy's out of the running. This guy isn't bad, and I think he ran away before, so let's make him run again. Oh, look at that! We could see his trade post. I don't understand. Why? I mean, the Holy Roman Empire, that's... That's no problem. Right? What could they have? <laughs> We're not going to fight the Holy Roman Empire over trade posts. Definitely not. 